What's up everyone, Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com, CEO, MTS Nutrition. Just uh, going, uh, getting ready, going to take my kids to the water park this week. It's pretty cool. Got a couple days in the Dells. You know, it's going to be negative 13 there tomorrow. It's going to be amazingly cold. And then I'm back on the grind next week. So um, nonetheless, next Wednesday I actually start the grind. So nonetheless, just want to kind of get you on my vlog for the day. Now today I, I actually was in my warehouse. I left at 11 today, 11.30 today. I was caught in traffic. The 65 on the way to Chicago was crazy. Accidents everywhere, icy roads. It was nuts, but I made it home okay. Even though I was about three hours delayed, I'm just thankful I'm here. Thankful every day of my life, as you guys know. And, um, you know, so I'm here. Nonetheless, this morning, woke up, got in a workout with Kara and Jason, had a great time. Went to First Watch, my place, got some breakfast there, and always get the uh, morning market veg omelet. But today I got the, tur the healthy turkey omelet. Really good, big chocolate chip pancake. Gotta love life a little bit sometimes. And uh, got some work done, met with my people, um, talked to some of my employees, because we do work Saturdays and uh, then headed out. So really, really, really good day so far and the fact that I was in the car a long time, but hey, could always pass the time talking on the phone or doing whatever and I find my way to do it. So anywho, um, wanna get into some topics. Uh, we have Insurgent launching tonight. It's up right now, I'm gonna link it down below. Insurgent is our test booster and also our um, a libido booster. It has a lot of beneficial effects and even a heart health. It's an amazing product. And that, I will link the video for that down below. You can watch that. The link to buy it is actually down below as well. You guys will enjoy it, man. The video's live right now, so go ahead and check that out. So, nonetheless, I um, want to get into some topics here. I mean, Insurgent's coming out. Really excited about that. Um, January 3rd, we have a new protein uh, landing. It'll probably launch um, sometime the week there, thereafter. You know, because we like to inventory things, and actually we also quarantine a little ourselves to make sure everything's cool, spot check some things. So it could come out as late as the 10th, but we do have a new flavor of whey protein coming out the first week of January. And of course, the new look of MTS is imminent and it looks fantastic. We also have a new product coming out which supports muscle growth and lean mass gains that's gonna be in a pill form that's just absolutely amazing as well. Nonetheless, man, I wanted to get into some, uh, some talk about the recent political cycle and this isn't going to take size. This isn't going to pick teams. What this is going to say is that you're all a bunch of fucking sheep. And I don't like sheep. I like independent thinkers. And unfortunately, Democrats and Republicans are a bunch of fucking misinformed sheep who believe anything that their side tells them, whether it's Fox News for the right or um, CNN, MSNBC, and any of the other shitty stations to the left. Let me tell you a little something. <clears throat> so I, I, love, I love that Snowden guy. I'll tell you what. You know why I love Snowden? Because even though he betrayed his government, his employers, he told Americans about something unconstitutional that was going on that nobody would have told us if he hadn't have done it. And that is that the U.S. government was illegally spying on our shit. Absolutely amazing, right? Why aren't we rioting in the streets? Why aren't we pissed the fuck off that the U.S. government is spying on innocent Americans, breaking our constitutional rights? And then you see another thing happen where Obama is pissed at Russia for hacking those emails to WikiLeaks. Let me tell you this. Why aren't we pissed off about what they found in those fucking emails? That Podesta's a fucking child molester. That Hillary's a fucking liar. I don't give a fuck if it was against Trump, Hillary, Gary Johnson, Ron Paul, Bob Dole, fucking Johnny Carson, goddamn fucking Joan Rivers. I don't give a fuck who it's about. All we're seeing is that we don't give a fuck about what the information says. It's how it was garnered. Now Obama's going after fucking Putin. I'd be shaking Putin's hand. You know why? If he hacked that shit, he did us a favor. I don't care if it helped Trump win. He outed some dishonest fucks. And what Hillary did was dishonest. And what Donald, look, I'm not a Trump fan. Don't accuse me of that. But I'll tell you what, if Trump did that shit, I want to know that too. And yet they're going after the source. Fuck the source. It's out. Okay, and what the fuck are we going to do? Go to war with Russia? Do we really want a fucking war with Russia? I know we'll probably win the war, but we'll get fucked up in the process. You do not want to fuck with Putin, man. Dude's KGB and he wrestles bears. That's all I got to say. You know, he has a bear rug. The bear's still alive, but he's afraid to move. You know, that's what I'm saying. The guy's badass. You don't want to fuck with an alpha like that. So I'm just saying... We need to just know our fucking role and know the fact that we need to pipe down, okay? 
but we need to pipe up as citizens, okay? We need to pipe down as partisans and pipe up as citizens. Democrats, Republicans alike, do we really want them breaking our constitutional rights to privacy? Do we really want drones wiping out American citizens without due process? Do we really want that? But no, because you're on the blue side or the red side, it's the fucking old white version of Bloods v. Crips. All right, you got the fucking U.S. government, you got the Republicans on one side with their fucking, you know, their fucking elephant, and then you got the fucking jackasses on the other side, the fucking Democrats. You got your John Boners on the Republican side. You got the fucking Harry Reeds, that old piece of fuck on the other side. And we're fucking letting these fucking fuck fucks run our fucking lives and fucking fuck everything up. And nobody's upset at the fact that they're violating our constitutional rights. That's what I'm upset at. And this is not about politics. This is kind of an example, a metaphor. People tend to be sheep. We follow groups. We wear our little gym shark clothes and our tight pants with the baggy crotches. And we walk around, we all look the same. We all have the fucking Justin Bieber haircuts now. Whatever happened to individualism? Whatever happened to exceptionalism? Whatever happened to paving your own path? That's why I'm like, uh, you know, people on the, like, these YouTubers, these famous YouTubers making their YouTube money, their Google money. You know, they're like, oh, well, my followers, my followers. I don't fucking want followers. All right. I have subscribers. I have people who watch my shit. I have people who might want to train with me. Who might think I'm a decent guy. Might think I'm funny. Might think I'm opinionated. Some might even think I'm smart. However, I don't want followers. I want people who take my information and become their own fucking person. I don't want a bunch of people with fucking 5% tattoos running around like fucking apes with synthol in their fucking arms. That's not what I want. You know, that's what I love about Mike Rashid. Mike Rashid preaches excellence, individualism. Mike Rashid preaches being the best you can be. Same with C.T. Fletcher, Big Rob. You know, these are people who aren't like, follow me. These are people who put out a message. Alpha as fuck isn't about Mike being alpha as fuck. It's about you bringing out the alpha as fuck in yourself. And these are people I know, from speaking of Big Rob, CT, and Mike, they don't judge on fucking political fucking lines. They go for, hey, that shit's fucked up. I'm not going to say who I was talking to. It was another YouTuber, okay, who's probably not someone you'd expect to vote for Donald Trump, but he voted for him based on taxes, Okay, not saying it was right or it was wrong, but he looked beyond the color lines of blue v. red and he saw something that stood out to him. And that's fucking awesome. That's individualism. That's exceptionalism. And we're not going to improve as a society if we have a bunch of mindless, thoughtless fucking sheep who follow. So I implore you on the large scale, on the political side, don't always go with what your boys or what your race like just because i'm jewish doesn't mean i have to vote democrat and just because i'm a white protestant doesn't mean i have to vote republican and just because i like being naked doesn't mean i have to vote libertarian be an individual go beyond your skin color go beyond your religion look at the issues decide for yourself be your own fucking person as for you people who follow the crowd, you gym shark wearers, you know who I'm talking about, all right? You know, you got your hair done up like Justin Bieber, you wear your little tight pants with the calves tight, and then you wear your shirt, and you, everybody looks exactly the same. I'm not saying that's a bad look. I'm wearing joggers right now, all right? Nothing's wrong with looking a certain way because you think it's cool. But I have a feeling a lot of y'all are looking that way because you wanna be somebody. I wanna be like Mike. Remember that commercial? I want to be like Mike. Michael Jordan didn't get to where he was trying to be like anybody. Michael Jordan was trying to be like Mike. So if your name is, is Bill, try to be like Bill. But try to be the best fucking Bill you can be. Okay? If your name is Al, be the best fucking Al. Tyrone, be the best fucking Tyrone. Claudia, be the best fucking Claudia you can be. Tired, sick and tired of seeing people mindlessly stating bullshit. The man on the street, oh, they pick out the dumb answers. I don't give a fuck who they pick out. The fact that 80% of Americans, I believe it is, don't know who the vice president is, is fucking saddening and it's sickening. Educate yourself, know your surroundings. 
Stop being a number. Be an individual. I encourage you to go watch the fucking Lego movie. That'll teach you a lot about being an individual. Be a master builder. Don't be just another fucking person. Everything is awesome. You go and you have dinner with your liberal elite friends, your fucking Republican friends. You talk about low taxes, high taxes, this and that. What do you think is best? Educate yourself. In business, I always say when you stop learning, you stop earning. Well, in the real world, if you stop learning, you become a sheep. And sheep are fucking pussies. There's nothing alpha about being a sheep. One thing I've learned in life, no matter what, is taken away from me. I'll always have myself, my individualism, and what I believe I am. And my belief system is my belief system and no one else's belief system. They want to believe in my belief system, that's fine, but they're not going to sway me unless they provide an argument that is so compelling. That's why I love debate. I love talking about politics. You know why? Because with debate comes enlightenment. I've been wrong a lot of times. I've changed my opinion a lot of times. And so can you. Open your mind, stop being a sheep, and fucking be an individual. I'm not even going to answer a Q&A today. You know why? Because I think that's enough take-home message for you guys. Appreciate you watching. I'm Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Because being an individual, that's not a game.